The zero tolerance policy we've said is a policy of zero humanity. You know, we want to make sure that this gets uh, resolved. Uh, having been down at the border, I've seen, you know, the, the facilities the kids are in. I've seen the situation. I've talked to parents who, you know, may be held in Texas, but their kids are held in New York. And it's uh, been a serious a serious problem. This week we'll be officially introducing our bill uh, around ICE to have a more humane um, immigration uh, system. So one, you know, um, it's not about open borders because ICE doesn't work at the borders. That's one of the big lies. I think another big lie that's been put out there is that, you know, there's all this crime coming in and that we're not going to stop crime. I would argue just the opposite. The president's policy of using ICE to go after people with two old, two decade old parking tickets uh, is more putting us at risk uh, because what's happening is you're not going after those more serious crimes, the things that could really affect this country in a bigger way. And two, uh, you have to, in order to actually go after bad players, gain confidences in the communities you go into. And uh, now if you see an ice jacket, you run. But ICE is no longer able to do what they're supposed to do. So uh, while some of the debate has been semantic, do you reform it? Do you abolish it? Uh, bottom line is there is great understanding that we have to do something completely different because ICE, uh, as it currently functions, is broken thanks to the president.